Sultanova. She'll be fighting for the gold medal. That's uh, coming up next. Here on our mat number one, we're going to have the uh, second of the semi-finals in the under 73 kilos. There's already been one on uh, mat two. Khalilov of Uzbekistan coming off the winner there over Kurbanov of Russia. But here we're going to see Dmitry Solovey of um, Ukraine. And uh, he faces Eduardo Avila of Mexico. That's the um, semi final lineup on map number one. fighters um, led to the middle of the map by the corner judges who act in the beginning as escorts they then hand them over to the uh, referee and the referee makes sure that they are have a proper stance and a proper grip before um, bringing them onto the map and they do that and they're underway and immediately the Ukrainian attempts a Tomoinagi and uh, the uh, Mexican is almost catapulted into the air and brought down on his right side for Yuko. And then the um, Ukrainian Solovey follows that up with an attempted um, Jujigatami and arm lock. But they're wrapped up like uh, a pair of snakes and you can't tell which one's going where. And the referee decides that, that that's not going anywhere and he calls Mate, stands them back up. And um, the first half a minute is over. Beautiful bit of work, left-sided Tomoyanagi from uh, the Ukrainian. Using his foot almost like a hand to guide his opponent over and off onto his side. And there's four minutes and 20 odd seconds left here. And uh, Solovey leads by Yuko. The first of the semi-finals in the under 63 kilo category is underway on map two. Bernades of Brazil versus Joe of China. That uh, contest is only just underway, there's no score there. Once the fighters um, once it's been decided by the referee that the fighters are unlikely to make progress in uh, Nevaza or on the ground, then he'll stand the fighters up and uh, restart them. Drop Zianagi attempted from uh, Solovey. Doesn't score though. Just couldn't turn his uh, opponent onto the scoring part of his body. And there's a score on map two on the adjoining map between Bernardes and Joe, and Joe of China has scored a Yuko and uh, leads a Yuko. Solovey it is of the Ukraine who leads by Yuko. 3.33 on the clock. Solovey in the white judogi, just slightly shorter than um, his Mexican point opponent. They stand up and uh, the referee invites them to take a grip making sure that uh, they're nice and relaxed and gets them back underway with the call of Hajimi, which is start, and now uh, Solovey tries to throw right-sided with uh, Marote Sianagi. It doesn't come off. 
and uh, the Mexican's not interested in going to ground there, just pushes the hips forward and blocks that attack from the Ukrainian Solovey. As a result of all the work that Solovey has been doing, it's rather left Avila a little bit behind, and he now picks up a passivity warning, which the referee indicates by rolling his hands uh, around each other and then gives the same indication to Avila by taking hold of his hand and giving him a, a physical reminder as well as the verbal penalty of Shiro. Three minutes left in this contest and still the uh, Ukrainian lead is in a little bit of trouble there because uh, Avila almost able to execute uh, a strangle there, a shimiwaza, didn't uh, quite manage it. And um, the Ukrainian managing to spin out and avoid getting caught. Three minutes and 40 seconds left on the adjoining mat. Semi-final in the under 63 kilo category. Bernardes and Joe Bernardes of Brazil trails Joe of China by one Yuko. The Chinese leading by Yuko. There, two minutes and 24 seconds here, and it's Solovey of the Ukraine who leads his Mexican opponent, Eduardo Avila Sanchez. Sanchez, um, Avila Sanchez looking to come forward, pressing hard. But he's got um, a very, very tough opponent in front of him. The only thing that I'd say again, I've noticed, is the um, conditioning of some of the athletes. The Mexican looks pretty strong. And uh, if you can hang in here, there's still two minutes and 12 seconds left to go. No reason why he can't pull that score back. It's only a Yuko. May not necessarily be a contest ending score so Avila Sanchez is not out of it the referee calls Hajime and they get back underway with uh, Solovey attempting an Ashiwaza and then looking for a Satemiwaza but neither of which come off throws himself in an attempt to throw his opponent but it doesn't come off and now the referee stands, stands them back up brings them to the center of the mat with two minutes and four seconds uh, left to go. Solovey moves to his left and that has Avila Sanchez following him and he follows him to the ground now after Solovey uh, attempts a slightly weaker technique and I think he is going to be in some trouble here, Solovey, because there's a minute 47 seconds left to go and power seems to have drained. Does happen, he gave everything early on, he put that score on the board and now he's just beginning to lose a bit of stamina. Avila Sanchez must feel that, sense the, uh, the opportunity coming his way. Can't come up with the strong attacks now. Thought about doing something working off the sleeve, so did Tsuri Komigoshi with that attack, but that one failed. And now he's going to be warned for a drop here. That um, warning goes up against his name on the scoreboard by means of a, a yellow card. One yellow card each because uh, Avila Sanchez had previously been warned. So there's one yellow card each, but importantly for Solovey, he's got the one next to his name. It's the one score so far. But whether it'll be the deciding one, well, I don't think so because um, Avila Sanchez is really coming strong there. And just as I say that, he puts in a very, very strong right sided Tayatoshi. He can't uh, get the turn that he wanted. He lost control with the, uh, the hands, and he ends up um, flattening his face with um, his opponent lying on top of him, but there's no score. Joe still leads Bernardes by a Yuko with 2 minutes and 22 seconds left on mat 2 in the under 63 kilo category semi-final. Here, Solove still leading. He's going to get called again. They don't want to, but there was no attack there. 
There really was no attack there. It's a very sad way to um, for the scores to level, but they're level now with a minute 16. Just the um, the power was draining away from Solovey, and there's just too much time for um, for Solovey to. Um, To, um, to hang on. Great ding-dong battle on map two between Bernardes and Joe. Minute 37 left to go in that contest, but still the Chinese leads. Here, things are level. Yuko apiece. Both have had... Uh, well, Solovey has picked up the penalty, and that's gifted Avila Sanchez, that Yuko. So just over a minute left to go. Here comes the Mexican, putting on the pressure. There's another good attack from uh, Solovey. He hasn't got the power there. Earlier on, that would have thrown um, uh, Solovey. But not now. Finding it very, very hard to get back to his feet. And two Yukos now for Joe on uh, Matt Two. She's just scored on Bernardes with a minute 17 left. Increases her lead. Fifty seconds left here on map one in this um, semi-final. The winner of this will fight Kalilov in the final. What a good attack there from uh, Avila Sanchez. I can't remember seeing many golden scores during this um, competition, but this one could be heading that way. Only 30 seconds left to go. Has Solovey got enough power to um, go ahead? Or has Avila Sanchez got what it takes to finish? His Ukrainian opponent off. He tries a drop Sernagi, but he too has uh, lost a bit of um, steam in his attacks. Hey! Only 12 seconds left to go. Scores are level. Yuko apiece. And uh, Solovey gave everything in the first minute and a half. After that, he's been finding it very difficult. Both fighters are warned for refusing to take a grip. Solovey's got to be careful here because he's gone further behind with that penalty. And now, if, if he does that one more time, it'll be Han Sokumake. He's already lost this now. That was a really poor error by Solovey. He should have known what the uh, the score was. That was good. He kept going again, and now he gets it on. It, it's the continuation of the technique that will allow him to score it on. He never stopped driving. Not once did Solovey stop driving. It wasn't a clean, um, fast um, technique. But he kept driving and ended up throwing Avila Sanchez flat on his back. Avila Sanchez accepts that. And Solovey right at the death. There must have been six or seven seconds left to go. He came, came up with the winning score. Look at the Mexican coach. He's not complaining about the technique. He knows that that's an Ippon. That, that wasn't a complaint. It was more of a frustration that his fighter had been caught. Dimitri Solovey goes into the final. He's going to face really the favourite now for the gold medal, Khalilov of Uzbekistan. Solovey waves to 